You probably already know about logical operators like AND and OR in JavaScript, but do you also know about the knowledge coalescing operator in JavaScript? In this video, I'll be simplifying this operator using examples. And by the way, if you don't already know about the logical AND and OR operators, I have videos on them. I'll leave links to them in the video description. The knowledge coalescing operator is a logical operator which requires two operands. It checks if the first operand is null or undefined, and in the case that the first operand is null or undefined, the second operand would be returned. But if the first operand is not null or undefined, then the operator would return the first operand. This operator is written as question mark, question mark. So on the left, you have the first operand, I call this operand one, and on the right, you have the second operand. These operands can be any form of expressions. So this operator would check if this is null or undefined. And if it is, then operand two would be returned. But if this is maybe a string, an array, a boolean, something that is not null and it is not undefined, then it would be returned. What the operator does is just the same thing as using the conditional operator and the logical or operator like this. Operand 1 is equals to null or operand 1 is equals to undefined. Then we use the conditional operator and then we we'll return operand 2 and then using the conditional operator then we say operand 1. So this is what the knowledge operator does. It checks if the first operand is null or undefined and then it returns the second operand else it returns the the first operand. But let's look at some examples. Let's say here I have a variable called variable 1, I assign it the value of null. Here I have a variable called variable 2 and I assign it the string value of hello. Here I declare a result variable and then I say variable 1, knowledge coalescing operator, then I have variable 2. If I come here and I console log results and I run this file. You see we have hello and why do we have hello? Well this operator checks this expression which is a variable expression and because this is null then this other variable expression which evaluates to hello is returned here. But what if for variable one, I declare this as false. I come here and I run this file. You see, we have false. Why? Because variable one is not null. Variable one is not undefined, but it can be any other value. It can be an array. It can be an object. It can be false. It can be true. The operator would return it as long as it is not null or undefined. Is the logical and an or operator that deals with falsy values like zero, empty string, and false but this operator only checks for null or undefined. And like I said, you can have different expressions here. It doesn't have to be variables. So let's say I have a function here called return undefined. And what this function simply does is return undefined. Then for this place, I can replace it with a function called expression. And for this place, I can replace it with an expression like 20 plus 50. Um, I don't need these variables. I'm just going to comment it. If I come here and I run this, you see we have 70. Why? This expression evaluates to undefined undefined because undefined is returned from the function and this operator checks for null or undefined and because this is undefined then this other expression which evaluates to 70 50 plus 20 would be returned so as you can see this is an operator that checks for null and undefined while the other logical operators checks for falsy values and truthy values if you enjoyed this video give it a like share and subscribe for more simplified videos i'll be making on javascript